Good morning. Today we join with the Church in celebrating the Feast of the Apostle Matthias. We know very little about Mount Matthias beyond his election by the Apostles to take the uh, place of uh, Judas. Legend has it that he carried the Gospel into the Baltic area, where it was claimed he was martyred there. Uh, the mother of the Emperor Constantine, Helena, uh, brought what were allegedly uh, his remains right, to Padua, Italy, uh, where they are enshrined and venerated to this day. Let us begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We gather together to hear the word of the Lord, to celebrate his Eucharist. Let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, to ask God for his forgiveness and his healing grace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned a Saint Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant through his intercession that rejoicing at how you loved us beyond all telling, right, that we may merit uh, to be members among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David, concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in his ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising up to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. 
If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, right? And your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything that I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and to bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This command I give you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May my joy remain in you, so that your joy may be complete. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I remember a film I called Ali Ali Oxen Free, which is the title uh, of uh, this little remembered film from the late 1970s. The film is about a young boy who promises his grandfather, once a great balloonist, right, that he will repair the old man's hot air balloon and take him up on it on his birthday. Right? The grandfather dies before his birthday, but the boy so loves the grandfather that he is determined right, to fulfill his promise. Right? In the course of the film, uh, we learn that the boy's love for his grandfather has a lot to do with the fact that the grandfather taught the boy to face and conquer his fears and believe in his potential. With the help of an elderly uh, woman and a friend, right, he continues right, to affirm, who continue to affirm the boy's potential, the boy is able to fulfill his promise. The final scenes of the film show the boy, his friend, and the elderly woman right, floating above San Francisco in the grandfather's refurbished balloon. Their faces are beaming with joy. That's the kind of joy that Jesus promises us in today's gospel, a joy that comes from the love Jesus calls us to. It is a call to face our fears, our and challenge try to be all that we can be. Often our fears are to keep us from reaching out to someone who really needs our compassion. Fear of what might be asked of us keeps us sometimes from letting people know right, what our gifts are, and we miss right, a chance of being of service to others. Fear for our own reputation keeps us from being uh, uh, with certain people, perhaps, or from speaking out on their behalf when there is need to do so. Fear of the unknown right, uh, keeps us in our own little corner of the world, missing the wonders of what we could become. When we overcome these fears, uh, knowing that God loves us more than we can imagine, we begin to reciprocate God's love. The result of such love is Jesus' promise of joy, the joy of floating free right, into our potential. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us offer our gifts right, as we uh, prepare right, to offer them with our prayers. We pray for the Fordham Prep Class of 2020. May these young men go forth and continue to set the world on fire. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those taking AP tests this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Fordham Jesuit community, for their health and safety during these times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all students and families facing hardship, and we join in a global family in prayer today, for an end to the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Mary Elizabeth Saita, grandmother of Helen, class of 21, and Brendan, class of 19, Sawarbi, and for the consolation of the Sawarbi family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, hear these prayers which we raise to you along with our gifts of bread and wine. Let us prepare the Lord's table. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given. You and hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, may it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, accept these gifts which we offer to you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented on this feast of St. Matthias, and through them now strengthen us by the power of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built our your church are to stand firm on the apostolic foundation, right? so to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your kingdom. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, our Holy Spouse, St. Joseph, the Apostles, St. Saint Matthias, and all the saints and martyrs praised you throughout the ages. May we too merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom, kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, you may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a greeting in peace. Lamb of God, you do take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should have torn my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, to fill your family with divine gifts, that through the blessed Matthias's intercession for us, graciously admit to us a sharing in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God go with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Mass is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Have a healthy day.